let me see how to find the square numbers. The first one is about the square numbers ending with 5. For example, 45 square. This is a number which is ending with 5. If you want to get the square value of this given number, you have to follow this procedure. I will explain this procedure and based on this, I will explain this example. The first step is you have to square the unit digit. What is the unit digit? We already learnt in the number section that is 5 square. Unit digit is 5. So 5 square is 25. This is the first step you have to do. Second thing you have to take the digits other than the unit digit. Other than the unit digit is 4. Then multiply it with the succeeding number. What is the succeeding number for 4? It is 5. So 4 into 5 will give me the result 20. So 20, 25. I will explain the step again. First step, I have to square the unit digit. That is, unit digit is 5. So I am squaring. So 25. Always if you square a number which is ending with 5, always we will have unit digit as 5 only. So this will be of a fixed term. This 25. When you are squaring a number which is ending with 5. The only thing you have to do is multiply this succeeding term. The succeeding term of 4 is 5. So 4 into 5 will give me the 20. So 20, 25 will be the answer for this question. 45 square will equal to the 20, 25. You have to take the unit digit and you have to make it square. So for any number which is ending with 5, 25 will be the fixed part. And the other thing will be calculated like the succeeding term of the whatever the remaining. In this case, we are having 4. The succeeding term will be 5. So 4 into 5, 20 will be the answer. So 2025 is the square value for 45. So 45 square is equal to 20, 25. This is the shortcut to find the square numbers which is ending with 5. The next one is square numbers close to 100. You have to take some set of numbers. For this set of numbers, this will be applicable. 100 to 125 and this side up to 75. I will tell you why we are taking only these numbers for this one while calculating the answer. The procedures are like this. When some number is given, you have to consider how much it is more or less than 100. If it is given as 98, it is minus 2, 100 minus 2. If it is 107, it is plus 7, more than 100. That is how much more or less you have to calculate. And the second step is about whatever the more is there, you have to add to that. If it is less, you have to subtract from the number. And at last you have to add two zeros at the end. The last step is like you have to square the difference and add at the end. This is about the procedure. If while we solving the problem, you can clearly understand what is the procedure is about. If the number is like 98 square, I have to consider how much it is less. It is minus 2. From 100 it is minus 2. So I am putting minus 2. Then this is less, so I am subtracting. 98 minus 2. Second step is about. If it is less, I have to subtract from the number. That is 96. Third step, I have to add two zeros. Finally, this is the difference. I have to square it and I have to add at the end. So minus 2, it will be plus 4. 9604 will be the answer. This is the example. 98 square. The difference is minus 2, so I am subtracting 96, I am adding 2 zeros at the end. At last, whatever the difference now, I am squaring and I am adding at the last, that is plus 4. So 9604 will be the answer for 98 square. So this is the procedure. Initially, if you do with this practice, it will take some time. After some practicing exercises, you can easily make it in your mind itself. So this will make the simplification purpose and it will make the calculation more simpler. This is less than, I will take a similar example which is more than 100, which is like 108 square. 108 square, so this will be plus 8, because it is more than 100, it is plus 8. So I have to add, it will become 116, and third step is like, you have to add two zeros at the end. So the difference is plus 8, if you square, it will become 64. So 11664 will be the answer for 108 square. So these are the steps. First step you have to consider how much it is more or less than 100. That you have to do. Then based on that 108 plus 8. So I am adding 116. Here it is minus 2. I am subtracting 98 minus 2. Then third step is like you have to add two zeros. And the final step square and add at the end. This is about the procedure to calculate 
स्क्वायर नंबर्स व्हिच आर क्लोज टू 100 why i am telling only this number is possible 75 and this side 125 in the sense if it is 125 it will become plus 25 125 comes here it will be like plus 25 if 75 comes here it will become minus 25 so you should know the square numbers from 1 to 25 that we will see in detail in the next slides next one is square numbers close to 1000 if there is a number like 998 square, they are asking you to find square number of this one, 998 square. It is very difficult to multiply 998 into 998, it will take some time. But in quicker max, how you can do is, the same procedure what we had followed for square numbers, which is close to 100, you have to do. How much it is less? It is minus 2, when compared to 1000. So it is 9. 9, 6, you will get the answer. There it was close to 100. We are adding 2 zeros. It is close to 1000. So you have to add 3 zeros. And the same previous step, whatever the difference you are getting, you have to square and you have to add at the end. Minus square, it will be plus 4. 9, 9, 6, 0, 0, 4 will be the answer for 9, 9, 8 square. The same procedure whatever we had followed before. The thing is how much it is less than 1000 we are checking. It is less than so minus 2 and this is close to 1000. So we are adding 3 zeros. In the previous case it was close to 100. So we were added 2 zeros and at last you have to square the difference and you have to add at the end. This is a number which is less than 1000. If a number is like 1009 square which is more than 1000 so I have to add plus 9 so 1018 and third step is like I have to add 3 zeros 9 square will be 81 the answer will be 1018081 this is the shortcut to find the Square numbers which is close to 1000. What you have to do is you have to check how much it is more than 1000 or less than 1000. Then next step is you have to add or subtract based on that if it is more or less respectively. Then you have to add three zeros at the end. Then you have to square the difference and you have to add at the end. This is the procedure to find square numbers which is close to 1000.